It takes a lot to get me angry. Well, if she's angry, she says, I'm so angry right now. <laughs> <laughs> they all, oh no. <laughs> it's like, Welcome back to Dear Shandy, listeners. Hello, Andy. Hello. How are you today? I'm good. Yeah. And, uh, how are you? <laughs> we have guests today. It's a very exciting day. It's our second ever in-person love fest yeah. in our apartment. There's a lot of cameras, a lot of lights. And we're so thankful that this particular couple, who I will introduce shortly, came from Chelsea, right? Yep. Yes. Chelsea to hang out with us. On this lovely this Sunday. Is awesome. You know the gentleman in question from Bachelorette season 14 and BIP seasons five and seven. He can be found on Instagram at Joe Amabile One. Am I saying that right? Amabile? You're you're close enough. You're close. Amabile. But like you said it pretty well. Okay. Yeah. I feel like it's a Amabile. Yeah, in, in Italy. <laughs> okay. Pick your battles. So Joe. A mobile one. And I'll so you're doing a mobile. It's a mobile. <laughs> a mobile. But one. a lot of people do that. But at least that's close because most people do like amabile. Yeah. Which is the worst. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. I feel less bad now. Yeah. With a one at the end, what's the one? Somebody had, I don't know how many. Well, actually, my dad's Joe Mobley and I have a cousin, Joe Mobley, but neither of them have Instagram, but somebody had Joe Mobley. So okay. it's like, Joe Mobley won. <laughs> you know, it was 2018 when I got Instagram. Oh, so. Okay. And on TikTok, Joe underscore Mobley. Yes. Mobley one. Is it one? Do I have a one on you TikTok? Have, you have a one on Interesting, TikTok as well. Yeah. And then on Twitter, it's Mobley <laughs> Joe. I mean, mine are, are it's, it's hard to follow me. Oh, yeah. But. I actually coming off the show had a difficult time finding him because I think I, I assumed I was like, okay, Joe Amobly, didn't see it. And then I was like, oh, maybe it's grocery store Joe. Didn't see it. And then I was like, well, I'm engaged to someone and I can't figure out where they are on Instagram. This is a problem. Just and I'm like, he I know he, it. I know he has it. Yeah. I'm assuming he has it. I find it endearing that that's where you thinking about this ended. You were like, I'll just put a one at the end of it. Oh, yeah. underscore. Oh, okay. A mobile like Joe. Like you did not spend too much time thinking about it. No, that. no. He's a laid back guy. I mean, what he is. I actually not too long ago, though, I did try to reach out to Instagram to get rid of the one. Mm -hmm. uh, they never responded. <laughs> that was the end of it. Okay, and the lovely lady in question, she is from Bachelor season 25 and BIP season seven. We all watched them meet, fall in love, and get engaged on that show. Yes. And now today, I believe you are married. We are, yeah. we are married. You did City Hall like we did. I wanna hear all about that. Let's start there, actually. City Hall? Yeah. Um, It was great. We went. <laughs> it was we great. Actually, we missed. We keep missing our like month anniversaries. So we have not celebrated one. We were hoping to celebrate our six month anniversary and then we both totally forgot about it. So what is it uh, now? We just missed fine. seven months. Maybe we'll get eight month anniversary. Yeah, we're forgetting years now. So. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's OK. I think it's a really good sign when you forget. We literally talk about this. Like yeah. if people who over celebrate every anniversary, it's like you're it's if you're having too much fun together you forget i yeah that's a good way to look at it yeah i literally last anniversary I, I said to you i was like do you know what day it is today and you got it on the third guess <laughs> <laughs> it feels like by the third guess you're just like throwing it out there like yeah. you still didn't really know <laughs> yeah, it answer. wasn't like oh i've got it it was like is yeah, today our anniversary yeah, it's yeah. not Christmas. It's not Thanksgiving. It's a day. I think the day we met is more important. It's a personally. day. It's a, it day. a day. I do think the day we met is more important. Yeah, it's more yeah. important. So speaking of days where you meet. Yeah, we met on June 7th. So almost one year we met ago. In, yeah, we met. In Paris. I will say, though, I will track back to the civil court wedding. Mm -hmm. We didn't prepare. Like, I didn't really think about it going in. Uh huh. And then when the woman that was working there was like basically reading the vows or the the what is it? Marriage. Yeah, the vows. The I vows. Guess. Yeah. yeah. And like a tear starts coming down her eye. And I remember like, <laughs> oh, fuck, this is so real right yeah. now. Like this cannot be more real. Um, so it was that was it was a special moment because it, 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 you know, my adrenaline was going then. And then like after we were like, whoa. Yeah. Well, because we, we 
it's not that we didn't think it through. Like we thought it through. We knew we were going to get married. We just didn't think through or really inquire about what that process entailed. Yeah, I thought we were just like signing a piece of paper. Yeah, we knew we needed a witness, and that was the and our our IDs. That was the only thing we needed. It's dangerously so we just showed up with a witness and our IDs, and we were like, okay, great. And then we thought. We, it was actually way busier than we expected it to be. And it was a very big room. So already we, we were kind of like, hmm, maybe there's more to this than just like walking up to a table and like signing Sign a something. paper. We signed our things and then we're kind of like, do we, can we leave? Like what's next? And then we see people going into these rooms and we go in and we're like, okay, I think this is yeah. another step that <laughs> we didn't expect. And yeah, the woman gave like a beautiful speech and said, I pronounced you married. And I mean, yeah. She didn't was, give a beautiful speech. She well, just she didn't give. Oh, she, she just <laughs> read. It phoned it in. Ours yeah. completely I already can in. tell you, she gave you a way more personalized yeah. experience than ours gave. She us, made us like look at each other Wait, and hold hands. Did she hands? know who you were? No, I don't think so. I and don't. She think yelled so. at us for taking because we because you still had to wear a mask inside the courthouse, yeah. and she's like, "Keep your mask on." And I was like, "All right, okay." <laughs> but then at the wow. end, she was like, "You can take your mask off yeah. to kiss." And we're like, great. Yay. Uh, Yay. Yay. <laughs> Lucky us. Yeah. It does feel like going to the DMV until suddenly you're married. Yes. Yeah. Like, Whoa. Yeah. yeah, we're standing there and I'm crying and I'm just like, oh my God, we're, this is us getting married. This is crazy. Yeah. Did you cry? I, I wasn't crying, but I was definitely, I felt like emotions. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> but they weren't coming out. Yeah. Um, but no, it's definitely emotional. Give yeah. us the ITM. Come on, the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. Present tense, full sentences. Um, when Serena started crying, I felt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're a little too well versed and all that. Okay, so that is beautiful. Yeah. And how long did you think about doing City Hall? Because I know you're planning an actual like wedding wedding. What made you think, oh, we're gonna do City Hall first? I mean, we thought about it for a long time, if I'm being totally you honest. Know. Like we talked about it for maybe a year before we did it. So like, I feel like when we told our friends, we just got married at the courthouse, they weren't like, what did you just do? Like we'd been pretty openly talking about it, but. It all started once we started the, once we started the actual wedding planning process, I think we were like, let's just go do it. Cause we're gonna have to do it anyways. Yeah. Um, so we did, it was like, it's spontaneous. So yeah, we're was, like, why would we wait yeah. a whole year to get going on the marriage part yeah. of it? And the you paperwork, <laughs> the paperwork that also matters, at least in my case. So yes. did you invite anyone or was it just you guys? Yeah. It was us and then Natasha. You need one witness and you could only oh. have one witness there. You had Natasha as your witness? Yeah, yeah Natasha was our witness. She yeah. was our witness. I didn't even tell my family until the night before when Serena's like, you should tell them. I'm like, all right. Because I agree I, with that, by the way. I, I was yeah, also yeah. like... Everyone could wait to the ceremony. They don't yeah. need to know. Yeah. Um, we wanted her parents to know. Yeah, just we did discuss like just not telling anyone we knew and yeah. then just us knowing we got married and everyone thinking our wedding day was the day we got married. Yeah. But it was definitely important to tell my family mm. um, just because I was like, you know, it's your family. It's our family. It's my family. And they were so stunned by the surprise engagement that, you know, if it were to ever come out, I think they would be like, another one, you know, (laughs) really? You're going to keep another one from us? And it did come out on our own socials because we posted it. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, you told your, I think I told my family two weeks before our courthouse date and you told your family the night before. Night before. Nice. And then we we texted our friends the video right after and said, surprise, like, I we, think that's romantic. That's yeah, I love was. a courthouse story. It was fun. Yeah. It's also the best people watching in the world. Oh, right? Yeah. yeah. Wasn't it great? It yeah. was. There was a lot of different people there. Yeah, yeah. It was people in white dresses and people in sweats. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Well, we were the people in sweats, and I highly regret that, if I'm being honest. Uh, I, there was a couple like that each had each other's name on their T-shirts. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, my God. They got merch yeah. made for their wedding. Like, wow. Yeah, I wore shorts. Like cute shorts. Yeah, they were polka dot cute. shorts and I wore heels. Like I wore like an outfit, like a, I wore a look. Yeah. But I regret as well. I wish I'd worn just like a nice cocktail dress. Or yeah. so, I wore a some, suit. I didn't have any regrets. I yeah. You, you, he, Auntie was more dressed up than me. I don't know what I was thinking. I, I was like, oh, it's it. just the courthouse. We're going to have our wedding. I kind of played me it down. Too. And looking back, I'm like, oh, I would have liked to have not just been wearing like a black cardigan. You look good yeah. though. Yeah. So I, you look good. I yeah. had bought a white 
dress from like Aritzia that I had in black. And I think I was in the store and I was like, oh, I'll just grab this in white. It was we it was end of October when we got married. So I was like, it's chilly. Yeah. Like I don't want to wear like a short white dress. And then I put it on that morning and it was completely see-through in the back. And oh. when I returned it, they actually said they're like, yeah, we've had this a lot complaint of uh, with this dress. So I was just like, are you kidding me? We were kind of in a rush. Um, cause Natasha was picking us up in her Uber and I was just like, you know what, whatever, I'm just going to throw something on. We're just going to the courthouse. It's fine. I wore like a white, I, the cardigan I wore was nice. It was like a white cardigan. But then looking back, I'm like, I'm wearing a white cardigan with these faux leather pants. I'm like, what was I thinking? This is not giving bridal at all. And it was like kind of a special moment. And we look at these photos and these videos a lot enough now that yeah. I'm like, Damn, I really wish I wasn't I that. relate so hard. Mm, and I guess, yeah. yeah, if anyone listening to this is considering the courthouse, yeah. learn Don't from play us. it down. Don't yeah. play it down. Like, it's a big moment in your life. And if you want to dress casual, like, do your thing. But, like, I feel like I just, yeah, I played it down in my head. I was like, we're going to the courthouse. Why would I ever dress up for that? Yeah. But, like, I I wish I had. So, if you're Same. debating it, that's my advice. Yep. Totally agree. Okay. So, to backtrack, we're going to go back in time. Okay. Because it's been... Two years, right? Yeah. Two yeah. years since you first met on the show. I want to know, because normally this is where we would ask how you met. Everyone knows how you met. I want to know how familiar, I don't know if you watched our recaps of your season, but we called Joe George Clooney of The <laughs> oh, Bachelor wow. World and, and that he would have a sheen to him. I want to know if we were right. Serena, was Joe George Clooney? In your eyes. That is hilarious that you say that because <laughs> Joe is obsessed with George Clooney. Well, I think I said, I think I called, I think I called by, I think I said, like, I want to be George Clooney. And you've or, been saying that for two years. Yeah, I think I, I said you. it on the show, though, too. I probably did, Maybe. I think, at some point. Yeah. He's like always like, I want to age I'm a like dork. George Clooney. Yeah. I'm a dork. No, no that's no. a good goal. Oh, no, that is a good goal. No one I mean, is disagreeing with oh, that. Yeah. It um, might be a little basic, but you know, it's still respectable. <laughs> I'm a basic bitch. I've always <laughs> been a basic no. He's a salt Isn't and he married king. to an Indian woman, too? I Amal is, yeah. is she Indian? I'm not sure. I what think she's Middle Eastern. Middle Eastern. Yeah, yeah. Middle Eastern. Yeah. Okay. Um, no, I did not look at him and see him as George Clooney <laughs> at all. Um, you, you were you were the, the closest to a mall on the on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole other discussion. <laughs> that is a whole other topic of conversation. Um, no, yeah, honestly, like. A, I did, had no idea how old he was. Okay. So in my mind, he's the same age as every other dude there, which is like 30 to 32. Okay. Maybe like, what, 20, 27 to 32. You I thought I was 31. I thought you were 31. He was also wearing like a blue t-shirt and gym shorts. So he looked very non-George Clooney-esque. Childish. Childish is maybe the word for it. But wait, wait, so had you seen his season? Like how familiar? So were, I, I, I mean, did. Grocery store Joe, he's an icon. I totally knew who he was. I totally knew who he was. Spitting facts. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I watched Becca's season. So I absolutely remember like him blowing up on Twitter and everyone yeah. freaking out when he got sent home night one. Yeah. Um, I didn't watch most of his season of Paradise. I think I watched the first few episodes. Um, I was in university at the time and it like went into my like school semester and I kind of just trailed off. So yeah. I caught maybe the first like, I don't know, four or five episodes of that season. Okay. So familiar enough. Um, but like I'd Not never been on clickbait. Clooney. Okay. So we'd never met. Um, and I didn't follow him on Instagram or anything. Okay. So this was definitely like my first like yeah. real interaction with him in any way. And nobody thought I was going to be there. Yeah. And I was super surprised to mm. see him there. Like there was no like rumors mm. that he was going to be there at all. I think I had asked someone when, you know, when you're like throwing out names, I'm like thinking of every single dude in yeah. Bachelor Nation trying to like get a feel of who might be there. Yeah. And I asked, I want to say twice, probably Parisa, who was one of my main producers and was like, what about grocery store Joe? Like he's single, isn't he? And the same answer always, you got to wait and see. Uh, that's so how they do it. And then when I went down there, I was like, oh, wow, like was not expecting. And I think a lot of people were surprised to see you there. Yeah. You know, everyone kind of goes through the most recent seasons when they're thinking of yeah. the cast members. Yeah. You, I felt like you were surprised to see I was there. Surpri <laughs> I was surprised to see myself there. Yeah. Abigail, who was first down on the beach, I remember her thinking that I was hosting it. <laughs> <laughs> no way yeah she really? yeah she's like i wasn't oh. sure if you were actually on the show and i was like oh nice That's i can see that for you actually oh, i oh, feel yeah. like you should host uh an italian cooking show 
That's what I would. I'd love that. Can't you see that? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I also feel like you're very discerning when it comes to Italian food. Like I really think twice before suggesting Italian to him. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, because I feel like I, if he doesn't like it, I'm ashamed. Like he knows his Italian. Food. <laughs> I know. I, I do know my Italian food. On the plane, um, in I was watching Stanley Tucci's. Oh, if you watch that, yeah, oh, great. searching for Italy. Yeah. That was the best. Yeah, I was like, oh, it's so soothing. Why did I pitch that? Like, why did I pitch that as a show? Um, but I'm not him. He's he's much more famous. Um, <laughs> ah, but yeah, that's what he's saying now. He's like, grocery store Joe is so much more famous. Than me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this I mean, is a battle between me and Stanley. <laughs> and had you seen Serena on Matt's season? So so for clickbait, we would have to watch. We yeah, we'd have to watch and do our research. Um, like in like the first episode, we always chose like who were the standouts. Okay. And she was. I don't think it was the first episode. I think it was like off the headshots and the bios that you did this. Oh yeah, it might have been. Well, I Which think is harder. By the way, we did. We did. Yeah, we did both. Right. Harder. It's just a. It's a blind guess. Oh like, yeah. Whenever no people want us to do that, I'm like, I don't want to do anything based on headshots. I just think it's like or the bios because like. They're yeah, just, when you have yeah, so little BS. say in that bio, you yeah, you wrote like a thirty page thing. I think they wrote something like, "My dream was to have a pet chicken." I'm like, <laughs> "What? <laughs> Why are you writing about I me?" I feel this like is- I do know you if I know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but unfortunately, it's not true. It's a lie. <laughs> oh, that's a, that's a lie. <laughs> but we did like we did two versions. But I remember her because I remember her uh, limo entrance, and I remember oh, I was like, "Oh, she was really poised and, and beautiful," and I really liked just the way she. She carried herself and I thought she, she had a great smile and was very warm. Easy smile. Yeah. And I, I was just like, oh, smile. she's she and I never even looked at her her age or anything. I was like, oh, she's she's really pretty. Mm-hmm. Um, so she was one real natural beauty. Yeah. And she was one of, of the few that that stood out to me. Um, and that was kind of it. And I think at the time I didn't even know I was going to paradise. OK. Like I because I, that would have aired in January. Uh, I might have had an idea, but I don't know. Or no, because it was different because it was during COVID when you guys aired. So timing was off. So, yeah, and that was kind of it. OK, that was, she it. was just one of the many young ladies coming through. You thought she was lovely, but you yeah. Like, and I didn't even it. think I didn't think I was going to go on Paradise. I didn't think I would ever meet her. Uh, I thought maybe she would come on our podcast. I'd interview her for 30 minutes and that would be it. We kind of got your first impression of her based on what you saw. Serena, what was your first impression of Joe watching him? The tiny bit you did night one and back a season. Oh, gosh. I mean, <laughs> I was how old when I was watching him on Mega <laughs> Season. So, um, but honest, if I'm being t- totally honest, I was just like, he seems very sweet and endearing, but I mean, you went home so fast. Like, I really yeah. didn't. I, mean, I, really that's didn't, all, I, I was think, one of the people, I'm not going to lie, I was one of the people, I was outraged. Yeah, we I, did, I outraged. didn't. No, you didn't see that season. Oh, I, was I didn't outraged. feel. <laughs> I didn't feel that outrage, if I'm being honest. I was like, oh, but then I became more and more outraged with everyone else. I was like, I feel like I should feel this way also. You know, yeah. People are really upset about this. Well, I didn't feel it either. I was like, I, cause I was just prepping for, I would talk to my cousins who would watch the show and they were like, you went home night one. Like no one's going to remember that's it. Yeah. And I remember watching it back and being like, oh, this, this, cause I thought, I thought I was going to come across as like the Jersey shore, like, <laughs> Italian, Italian, mm-hmm. like, like, just like over. I had like a gold chain. I don't know how you would have thought you would have come across that way, yeah, based on your interactions with her. Well, and yo, know, definitely not on my interactions with her, but just like during like ITMs and stuff. Right. I'm a, you know, I am more confident than I came across. Yes, on the show. Um, and then I remember we were watching, and my brother's like, everyone's like, okay, it's not that bad. Like you don't. And I remember thinking, like, I'm going to look like an idiot. Like, I, I can't speak. Like, it's going to be terrible. Mm. Um, but then that was it. I just thought it was going to end right there. Yeah. It it did it. It did for you. <laughs> but for me, it did, you know? Yeah, and then yeah. I was on to the next So step. really, to say first impression, he didn't really make that much of an impression. I think so. Yeah, no. Honestly, no, he didn't make that much of an impression. At that point in my life, I'm sitting on the couch watching The Bachelor. Yeah. Like, I have no intention of ever going on this show. He's just, you know, another cast member. He went home early unjustly and he was yeah. sweet and endearing that was kind of that but i do remember so i didn't finish his season of paradise i missed you know most of it my 
mom, my sister did. Yeah. And I do remember talking to my sister on the phone and she was like, you should really finish this season. You know, you should go back and finish it. It was really good. And I was like, oh yeah. And she was like, yeah, you know, grocery store Joe is like a star. Like (laughs) he really, like, she's like, honestly, I'm a huge fan of him now. Like, I feel like I've like gotten to know him so much more. Like there, you you know, you see more of him, you see more of his personality come out in this season. Mm -hmm. And she's like, you know, you don't see him on back of season at all, but he's great. I'm like, oh, that's great. And then like, I, I didn't go that. back and watch it. And then clickbait, I feel like was the first time because after my season, you know, friends of mine, you know, I remember Brie went on clickbait, Brie Springs, who was on my season. And I listened to the episode and that's when I was kind of like, oh, oh I actually, you know, he's he's cute. Like I like I liked listening to you on clickbait in those episodes. I feel like that's the first time that you actually sparked my interest. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, because I feel like on the podcast, you know, you come across very confident. I mean, you are, but like you'd been doing it for a while and you had a sense of self-assurance and your personality really shines through in those podcasts. I mean, you're kind of like flirting with a lot of the guests, which was (laughs) too. (laughs) And and now you're also now you're in this world. Yes, like now, now you're I'm in, in this, world, this like so bachelor I'm, world. I'm scouting a little more. Yeah. I'm like, who's out there? Who's single? You know, like, that's a really good point, actually. Because yeah. once you're in the world, suddenly the the sheen is different. Like, yes. It may be, I don't want to say they have less of a sheen, but they're more accessible. Yeah, yeah like, the realism of potentially dating yes. one of these people is now like... It's a different color. Yeah, yeah. when I'm sitting Highly at home, likely. I'm not thinking of these people as, you know, potential Some people do options. that, though. Some yeah. people do that. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah, don't you find that some Actually, people... Actually, yeah, I guess. I mean, yeah, I'm did sure there's... Did anyone slide into your DMs after you see Andy did it. I did. Yeah, and there you go. I'll with, say with with each other. With you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> did, uh... Sorry, I just agreed to that for no reason. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. No, it was kind you... of a joke that didn't land, clearly, because you both were like, what I was just fuck? like, disagree with him. I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> I did not slide into her DMs. No. I no, met her in not... real life. There was a How fight. dare you? I know I, what I'm saying is like you saw her on the show and you're I like. I didn't. I know, but it was a joke. It was a joke that didn't Honestly, matter. Get out of my house. This doesn't add up. <laughs> Joe is bringing to light a story I don't think we've shared before, though. You did watch before. Oh, you, oh you're this is. In. Yeah. Have we never spoken I, about I this? I don't know, actually. Okay. So this is the weirdest thing. And you've been podcast long enough. You're start retelling the same stories. I'm sure you've noticed. That. Yeah. I was sitting at home watching um, what's the, what's nightly news. Yeah. With Lester Holt. Well, actually, back then it was actually I think it was before yeah. Lester Holt. It, it was, was the guy who got oh, fired for Brian canceled. Williams. Brian Williams got nice. canceled for some reason. I forget why. So uh, I was watching the nightly news and after the nightly news, E! Entertainment comes on and sometimes I'm just too lazy to get to the clicker. So it just it just comes on. And the opening story was like, you know, some woman breaks reality TV. And I was like, oh, I want to see this. Yeah. And then it was Charlene doing the thing with Juan Pablo where he offers her the first impression. And she's like, sure. Yeah. That was the thing. And I remember thinking, and I was like, I thought two things. One is like, she's acting. It's bullshit. <laughs> That was the first thing. And second, I was like, that didn't quite break the internet. Like, that wasn't enough. That wasn't enough. I was like, that, that, was, that was a, uh, you know, okay. fabrication. That was a red herring. So a similar tone of first impression. Yes. Yeah, like just not really making any. No impression at all. Mm-hmm. Zero. I just thought she was a fraud and I moved on. Just a, a liar and an actress. Absolute yeah. fraud. Yeah. yeah. So I met, what was, I must have met you like three months later. Yeah, around there. Yeah. Wild. So, Andy, I am holding in my hand one of my favorite discoveries of 2023 Mm. so far. Like, I'm going to throw it to you. Let's see if you can even catch it. It might not even make it because it's like a feather. (laughs) It doesn't make it. For anyone listening, not watching, we are talking about Earth Breeze's Eco Sheet, which is basically an index card sized. It looks like a piece of paper, but it's really laundry detergent. Throw it in your wash. It is safe for sensitive skin and most importantly, eco-friendly. Everyone should be paying a lot more attention to their carbon footprint today. Yes. And this is one of the easiest ways to do it. No sacrifice. As a matter of fact, you're getting the benefit of not having to carry heavy Laundry detergent down or across to wherever you're doing laundry. <laughs> down, across, up, yeah, maybe sideways. Up, <laughs> all over the place. Do you know how many of those laundry detergent jugs end up in landfill? 91%. 700 million jugs of laundry mm. end up in landfill every 
year. Wrap your mind around that for a second. I can't. And those it's beyond small. comprehension. That's not a small jug. No, it's as big a jug. Is there a bigger plastic jug you buy ever? Yeah, on a regular basis. Or anything? No. no. And the most messed up part is that it's that size because it's filled with 90% water. The water that the machine yes. spills out oh, oh to wash God. your clothes. It, uh, it's redundant. <laughs> it's so redundant. You don't have to do anything else. Do all your bad habits, but at least do this. This is going to make your life better mm -hmm. and the world better. Yeah. Do it. Do it. <laughs> also, the packaging, beyond being super lightweight, I mean, this is 60 loads right here, but also the packaging is biodegradable and plastic free. And most importantly, it does its job really well. Yes, the thing that you bought it to do. Look, I love eco-friendly everything, but sometimes you get the thing and you're like, eh, this yeah. doesn't work yeah. quite as well as I sometimes would have liked. Sometimes you go too far. Yeah. You go too organic. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this really is the perfect marriage of eco-friendly and functional. So switch from the old fashioned goo to something new. Right now, our listeners can subscribe to Earth Breeze and save a whopping 40, 40%. Go to earthbreeze.com slash Shandy to get started. Again, that's earthbreeze, E-A-R-T-H-B-R-E-E-Z-E dot -E -E com slash Shandy to save 40%. Earthbreeze.com slash Shandy. So Andy, an actual conversation we were having recently, it was about HelloFresh, how much we love HelloFresh, but we were talking not only about how much money we save on groceries, mm -hmm. because it is definitely cheaper to buy HelloFresh and have the exact number of ingredients delivered to your door instead of going grocery shopping. It is, yeah, at least in New York City. Because you're using their economies of scale. Yes. They're buying in huge bulk. Mm -hmm. You have to buy little. Yeah. <laughs> little is more expensive. Yes. And it's also, of course, way cheaper than eating out at a restaurant. But you and I were marveling because we did eat out. We normally eat HelloFresh throughout the week. And then on the weekend, we ate out. We appreciate eating out more when we eat in more. Exactly. You don't want to abuse eating out. First yes. of all, it's very expensive, it's more absurd. expensive than it's ever been. It's honestly insane. And now they're charging you for things. It's like just sitting down charge, oh, yeah. like leaving the restaurant charge, yeah. <laughs> like, like talking to somebody charge. It's so true. So quickly, in case someone doesn't know what HelloFresh is out there, it's hard to believe, but it's possible. It's a meal delivery kit delivered right to your door, and it includes all the ingredients, the exact right amount of ingredients and the recipe you need to make delicious homemade meals at home. I mean, can, it's a total no brainer. And with HelloFresh, not only are you saving a lot of money, but you're getting exactly the amount that you need. Which means less food waste, which by the way, is really one of the worst things for the environment. And also I love the variety. Yes. I never have to worry. I'm never like, oh, hello, fresh, the same old thing. No, every time it's different. It's like it's like a chef that really likes cooking and is like, you know what I made today? <laughs> Something special. Yes, there's 40 different meals to choose from every week. And there's different options for everyone. Everyone knows we don't eat meat, so we eat fish and veggie, obviously. And there's options for us. That is an issue with some meal delivery kits, I've noticed, is that it's like 99% meat. And I've said this before, but I will say it again. HelloFresh has made me a good cook. I have had years of cooking lessons. Yes, for free. That's just built into the cost. You're paying for the food, but really what you're getting is so much more. So go to HelloFresh.com slash Shandy16. That's Shandy16. And use code Shandy16 to get 16 free meals plus free shipping. Again, that's HelloFresh.com slash Shandy16 and use code Shandy16 for 16 free meals plus free shipping. Now, that's interesting. That's less of a like perception of each other going into it than I would have expected. Yeah. Yeah. You meet on the beach. We all saw that. That I want first impressions using adjectives of each other. Casual. Okay, wait. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you through the stages. There was three different stages of my first impression with Joe. All happened within like a 45 minute span. Okay. So initially it was like cool, calm, casual. Okay. Then it he like kind of like came in like a little stronger on me and was yeah. like, so I was like, okay, so I'd say like confident, I would say confident. Okay. And then you started to absolutely crumble <laughs> emotionally. And I would say, I guess nervous isn't an, ad is that an adjective? Yeah. Nervous. Yeah, nervous. Yeah. Nervousness. Vulnerable. Yeah. Vulnerable, yeah. I was handsome. I mean, handsome. <laughs> handsome. <laughs> <Delectable. laughs> no, yes, you're definitely very handsome, but um, I don't even know the word to describe it as you were kind of like, you had a very, um, you were still confident because you were so like open with, you were very vulnerable. Like you were just yeah. very open with like, I'm having a terrible time and I'm freaking it's out, but it was very endearing. Yeah. Um, 
that level of transparency is transparency rare. yeah that's kind of the word i'm looking for of like you were just very like you wore your emotions on your sleeve. Yeah. yeah. And I've said this like a million times uh, when I talk about that moment, but it's like everyone comes down day one, including myself, wanting to put their best foot forward, right? Yeah. Like you're like, I want to be hot shit on this beach. Yeah, I yeah. want people to hit on me. I want people to think I'm pretty. I want people to think I'm cool. I want to make a good first impression. And Joe was just like, I'm feeling this way in this moment and I want everyone to know <laughs> and I'm freaking out. <laughs> and I was like, wow, like you're really going to get what you get with this guy. Like I like that level of transparency. transparency. You know, so not only do I agree with you that that is, that's a really attractive trait, but yeah. it also says so much about you that you value that trait. Oh yeah, I guess. You know I mean, I my, yeah, I, I think it speaks to my fear, which my biggest fear the whole time I was on the show was coming off the show with someone and finding out they were someone else. Yeah. Mm. I always felt that to be a very real possibility and I felt instantly I was never going to even be able to have that fear with Joe because yeah. he was not going to be able to shield those like parts of himself, even if he wanted to, because he's so expressive with his emotions. So those 45. Oh, oh no, I was going to say, first of all, I want to correct you. I did see I was holding I've been holding on to this. I've been stewing on this. I did see. His episode with on his season where oh, he got Becca. thrown off night oh, okay. one. Okay, because that's what I, I was I, still yeah. recapping on my own. So I, I know we sure. didn't we didn't recap it, but I yeah. watched it. Okay, and I remember I was up in arms about yeah, it. Yeah, me too. Remember oh that? yeah, we were like, what? The I was hell? like, this there guy was screaming I, happening in this I, apartment. <laughs> to me, you're the most engaging, real yeah. guy, and he's so easy handsome. on the eyes. Come on, I was like, how the hell something must have happened? I assume you did something wrong. Like you, you did something yeah. inappropriate and you got thrown off. No, honestly, I got I got to credit producers on that one because. I cannot string together a sentence. Like I was a, like in Becca's defense, like she should have sent me home. Oh, like she really okay. should. I okay. walked away from multiple conversations with her where I was like, yeah, there's, oh, it's over. I'm done. I'm a hundred percent. I could not be more done. So we didn't I, see those conversations. You saw bits and pieces of them. Cause okay. I, I remember I walked into huh. the, the bathroom and I looked in the mirror and I thought like, you know, that feeling when, you're out at a bar and you have a little too much to drink and you wake up the next day and you're like, oh, yeah. I'm such an idiot. But everyone was an idiot and no one, yeah. no one yeah, cares. cares yeah. No but one cares. Everyone's care. drunk at a bar. And now I'm like, oh, my God. I'm the only idiot. Everyone's going to see this. I'm such an idiot. And I, and and people are going to watch this on TV. I'm going to look like such a an, just the worst guy ever. Ah. <laughs> but you didn't. And it, yeah. and it went they the you. Yeah. Whatever you whatever you did to make yourself look like an idiot was yeah. not shown. But I think you, you felt came out smelling like, like an idiot. Yeah, I, think I don't I, think I you just, were actually. I mean, look, you couldn't talk to Becca. Like that was obviously an issue. But like, I think you felt stupid. And I think I'm very judgmental on you're myself. Hard on you're hard on yourself. yourself. But yeah. I think that is what people found but, endearing of yeah. you. If you were just like, I don't know what's you going have, on. I yeah. feel kind of dumb right now. I feel like a fish out of water. Like that was endearing you, for people. You have a healthy dose of shame. Mm -hmm. I can tell. And one of the things I noticed on that episode, which I did see. Okay. Um, <laughs> is that you were the most real of all the people. I was like, that's a real guy. Whatever that guy's doing right now, mm -hmm. that's that guy. Yeah. With everybody else, you don't know. You know, there's, mm -hmm. there's some facade or they're yeah. acting yeah. a little bit. But you shame. are just you. We talk about shame a lot here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's important. Shame yeah. is what makes humanity like actually hold together. Yeah. Because yeah. without shame, people would do this. I actually have. I, I, I have a lot it, of it. I say to my sister, embarrassment is one of the most powerful yeah. emotions. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. There's a reason like, we have it. I mean, it's it's both like internally important. and for manipulation. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like I don't mean in like an evil way. Yeah, I just yeah, mean yeah. like making someone feel embarrassed. Speaking of reality yes. TV. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So quickly. In that 45 minute span, you have all these first impressions. Yes, yes. I want to know how those have changed. Oh, they haven't. I would say all parts that I saw in that 45 minutes are true parts of Joe. And okay. I still see all of those versions of himself of being just like chill and laid back and, um, you know, confident and like kind of cocky in a fun, flirty way. And also like freaking out and having a meltdown. <laughs> like he's a very expressive, <laughs> emotional, high, low kind of dude. Yeah. yeah. Which it's I roller love. coaster. Yeah. I love it. I, I ride the middle. Like mm -hmm. I, I've always said, like Joe rides the ups and downs and I ride the middle a lot. It's very we, similar. It's very yeah. similar yeah. to us. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't freak out as much as him. I freak out all the time. Yeah. I freak out <laughs> about the dumbest things ever. I can't wait to freak out. Once, yeah. once, I'm, totally. once I'm not freaking out, I'm like, uh-oh. Last, yeah, last night in bed, he goes, 
I'm probably going to have to freak out about something. So I haven't freaked out in a while. <laughs> like he's freaking he's like out about it. potentially eventually I'm going to freak out at something. That's amazing. Yeah. It's like constipation for freak out. <laughs> yeah, it's been two days. <laughs> also very expressive, both of them. Very yeah. expressive, like like in the face and yeah. the words, the tone of voice, the body language. Yeah. yeah no, I'm into that. Hypochondriac. I mean, I'm a lot of. Oh, are you a hypochondriac? For Andy's sure. Andy's a germaphobe. You're. Yeah. yeah a little. A little bit. Yeah. Not. On certain things. Okay. One of my best friends is like a legitimate hypochondriac. Yeah, but that's actually a challenge. I think. It's actually it be, a challenge. It can be very difficult. But yeah, you'll be, you'll definitely so be what, like, what's I think your I'm dying. What's your hypochondria? I'm just curious. Of hypochondria. Yeah. Yes. That's what I'm but what is your, I'm just one germaphobe to a hypochondria. What's your thing? What's the thing you worry about? Uh, diseases? Chicken. Ch- chicken? Like salmonella. Like oh. I ever, for, for whatever yes. reason, I and I and I love food and I you know and I eat pretty much everything. But whatever it is, I don't know why I panic every time I eat chicken. I'm like, is this chicken cooked? I chicken know. I, I, and now I, I've like I'm developed it because you know you're sitting next to someone eating and they're oh. like picking it apart. I'm like, what what's wrong with it? Like, yeah. it's dry to the bone. It's got to be cooked. Yeah. Like, oh no, I've got I've got her doing crazy stuff too now. Oh. Really? Yeah, yeah. She's gone. I mean, I sometimes look at her. And I'm like, ooh, I, I I went too far with her. <laughs> But chicken, I would say, you know how to stop that? Just stop eating chicken. Just forget it. It's not a great meat. <laughs> like I stopped eating meat, and the one thing I don't miss, chicken. Not at all. Yeah, really. We miss, we miss red meat. It's we an don't inferior, miss chicken. it's not a good meat. I find it interesting with chicken, you you know, it'll be like juicy, but then you're like, is it too juicy? Literally. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Literally. Oh, what about when it's pink inside? Well, well then, then, I don't, then, oh. I, then I don't, then I don't, then I put my fork out. out. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes it's too late though. You eat it, and you're like, and then you look, you like just ate a pink part, then you don't sleep for two nights. I know. So, Joe, quickly using adjectives, first impressions of Serena and then how they have changed, if at all. I mean, the truth, if I'm going to be completely honest. Um, Doesn't sound good. No, no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> sounded actually super bad. <laughs> me, me being narcissistic, I was totally in my own head. So it was even hard to have an impression of oh, her. Yeah. Because okay. all I, I was just thinking like, Okay, like, how do I look? Like, what am I doing? I was, I, I remember being so in my head. I thought she was very pretty, and I thought she was very confident. Mm-hmm. Um, and then after Super that, yeah. I was like, oh, I can't, I can't tell if she's into me. And then I instantly started looking at myself, yeah, in, 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 ruminating in, in my head, and I was like, well, uh, um, but then that night, I think it was that night, we had a conversation. I think that's when we realized we had a big age gap. Yeah. Yeah, but I think they showed like a I, snippet of that conversation. But I remember laying there and just being like, yeah, she's just sweet, wholesome, very nice. Um, Good Canadian girl. Canadian, mm-hmm. uh, beautiful. And just like she had this giggle and like laugh about her that was so warm and, and, and calming. And mm-hmm. I just I was like, oh, this is a person I want to be around. Mm hmm. So. And have those changed? Oh all? yeah, she is the worst. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, <But. laughs> no. I think those are. I think if anything, they're 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 more true today than they were were then. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Yeah. What struck me about Serena, you like you have this self assuredness that you don't see in many people. Period. Let alone people your age. It's really striking, oh, honestly. Thank you. Yeah, and combined with you know. I can spot a Canadian from a Oh, yeah, the Canadian. <laughs> really. The down to earthness of the Canadian. Was, Canadian. And Serena was one I would go for. I know that's a little <laughs> inappropriate, but we have, I, I would yeah, go. Yeah, in our recaps, we would say who we would go for. Always, and we routinely always. said. No, that's it fair. <laughs> I've watched the show and been, and he's been like, oh, I feel like if I was The Bachelor, I would go with this girl. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. But, but you were the obvious one. Yeah, like, there was no, it was every episode. Like, so obviously, cool. Serena. You're like a Canadian the, gal. Everything yeah. is, yeah. And we, and we do have that 11 year age gap. And I remember even finding that I was like, well, you're you're more mature than I am. Mm. Like like you really have your your shit together, and I think that's what m- made the age gap not really matter. An issue. Is yeah. there any way in which you do notice it, or that it is an issue? Um, it's never an issue. You definitely no. notice it. I'd say the two times pop that culture, it's, pop culture yeah. is okay. one. <laughs> yeah, pop culture yeah. references is one. Yeah. And then the other one, I would just say when we're with his friends or my friends, because it's so obvious the different stages of life. Yes. Yeah. Not by any means an issue, but like when we hang out with his friends, you know, they're all for the most part married with or Maybe without kids, children. Yeah. And my friends are, you know, 25, right. started their careers, yeah. some still at home, some moved out. Totally. Um, so just, just differences that yeah. you would expect. But I definitely had more nervousness about the age difference than he did. Um, 
and yeah, I think we've never had something that was like an issue that was correlated to the age difference. Mm. Yeah. So non-issue. No. No, not I really issue. don't think it's been an issue. I think like my biggest fear when we were on Paradise with the age difference was I was just like, you need to be very understanding that this is where I'm at in my life right now because I am this age. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm allowed to. And I'm going to live in this age. Yes. And I don't want to feel like we get off the show and jump into something that I'm not ready for or we move yeah. at a speed that maybe feels more comfortable to you. Yeah. Um, and I was but like, I'm was, at that age too. Yeah, sweetheart. no. Yeah. <laughs> I learned very quickly that was a non-issue. Yeah. Like he was like, no, no, no. Like we're very much on the same, we're moving at the same pace yeah. and like moving towards the same things at the same pace. So that was very you know reassuring that i was like okay cool like as long as you know this is where i am and that's where you are and they line up then we're fine it sounds like you complement each other really well and that you're very similar are there any differences that make you complement each other oh yeah i mean we're definitely different in quite a few ways i would say i love that and like again this goes back to the first impression but I am someone that it's taken me a very long time to feel comfortable and actually just even be capable of being like oh, I'm feeling sad and like mm -hmm. identify that feeling and then also be able to express that feeling and say like, oh, like I feel sad, like out loud. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and Joe is just naturally so, he feels everything so strongly and he's so <laughs> expressive about it. Like it's not even a thought for him. Yeah. And I love that. And I feel like that makes me better and it makes it easier for me to be like, I'm sad too. <laughs> like, <laughs> I love that answer. That's, yeah. that's yes. a first. Yeah. We've never gotten that one before. That is a first. And usually people don't answer this question well. Okay. So, <laughs> so you get, you win. It's a very specific answer to your question, yeah, I guess. It is. We love specificity here. Yeah. I love that answer. It's something that I think is unique to me. Something that I, is unique to me, but I never like sought out for in a partner of like, oh, this is going to like, help me mm -hmm. be better in that way um and then like yeah it's really it's been really good oh, for nice. me as an individual and it's been made our relationship a lot easier in terms of communication a, i can tell he's thinking answer. about it because I'm, I'm trying to think you know that, that's because it's a great question um sarita is definitely a more compassionate understanding person than i think i am hmm and I think just watching her be that person really has opened me up to that world and, and really taking a step back and not always being like so judgmental or, or brushing off somebody else's feelings or their problems because I don't think it's a big deal. Mm -hmm. Like, every, you know, it's just being a more compassionate, understanding person. Yeah. Um, so seeing her be that way is is made me i think a better yeah better man which oh, apparently like is that. like that's a really sweet answer mm -hmm. apparently that's good for your overall well-being and happiness too. oh for sure I'm, I'm, I'm definitely i am a happier person now than i was before her oh so, good yeah. nice. i hope so yeah <laughs> in more ways than no. one probably that's a good answer i like that because i always have believed that compassion is a very contagious thing mm -hmm. because yeah. it's just a mindset right it's just a way of thinking and looking at situations and i feel like i have surrounded myself with like some people in my life that are like super compassionate and they have made me more compassionate yeah so it's nice that I made you more compassionate. Yeah. That's a, you guys, wow, lovely good. answers. <laughs> We're not used to getting Perfect good couple, yeah. baby. <laughs> yeah. So sweet. Okay, so now those are the easy ones. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what was an early hurdle for you two? I mean. That's actually, yeah. So. Um, and it, was a, it was a big hurdle. So coming off the show, after we got engaged, I knew that my family would have a very difficult time with it. Which so, part? Many parts, all the parts. Um, <laughs> so one, uh, the age difference, which I think was probably on the bottom of the totem pole in terms of problems, mm, okay. but it was definitely like a, you know. A factor. A factor. It was, it was also right? just being, you know, getting engaged to someone that they've never met. Yeah. That, was the, that's, that's that the was the main one. That was the main one. Which is understandable. Mm -hmm. If you're a normal person, you're totally. like, well, my daughter just got engaged yeah like the reaction was guy. like you got in, you you know we didn't get to be a part of this huge moment in your life first of all like you got engaged 
without us getting to be there, without us giving her a blessing. On top of that, he's a stranger. We don't know him. We have no idea who this guy is. Not that they didn't trust my judgment, um, but like, you know, they're my parents. And on top of that, he's a lot older than you, which I think their fear was it was going to, you know, pull me away from them into a state of, you know, strong independence faster than maybe, Hmm. which it didn't, but I could totally understand that, like versus me dating a 25 year old that also lived at home and like we kind of grow up together with the help of our parents, whereas he was obviously completely independent. Um, And the other one was he lived in America, which, you know, Canadian Um. kids aren't as I find American kids move a lot. You guys all leave where you grew up. (laughs) You guys all go to school away from where you grew up. You know, you move a bunch and then sometimes you sell back at home. Sometimes you don't. Canadian kids, I find, don't do that. Like all my friends live like a max. Not all my friends. I would say 90 percent of my friends live like a two hour drive max from their parents. Oh, wow. mm-hmm. Like high school friends. Yeah, you've you said yeah. That yeah. About even my, my university friends. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, there was a array of concerns um, that was difficult for, you know, my relationship with my family and also for Joe and I's relationship knowing that like this was not being approved and it wasn't about him at all it it could have been anyone right it wasn't like we don't like joe it was like we are really struggling to accept this situation um but you know time heals all and as they got to know him and they got to watch the show watch us fall in love um that helped big the the show actually watching the show and like especially the finale i think that was yeah. I thought that was kind of the turning I point. I think the secret made it harder too, like having the secret mm, of it. Yeah. Um, yeah, the finale felt like a big turning point and, you know, they love him now and it's all it's all great. Like, it's mm-hmm. just, I think it was shocking. And I remember my dad even saying like, you seem, because I was living at home at the time. So there was no like, we were <laughs> no all secrets. in it together. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, And my dad was like, you feel a little distant from us. And I was just like, I'm processing too. Like, this is a lot for everyone. Like, I just went away and I came back with a fiance. Like, yeah. Yeah. it was just a crazy time that I think a lot of couples coming off the show, especially the ones that get engaged, can definitely relate to. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that was a hurdle like right out of the gate yeah. for us. Um that we worked through super well and it's I'm glad that it's not a hurdle anymore. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so it sounds like time was your friend in that one. Yeah, yeah and Lockery communication. Show. Time, communication. We had a lot of conversations with my parents both together and separately. And, and just amongst each other. Like we were very like yeah. if she was high like she never hid the fact like it would have been easy for her to like hide the fact that like her parents were kind of like not yeah. into it, you know, because that would have just been like, oh, they'll they'll come around. And he was but she in was Chicago, like, so like it's not like we were there all the time. Like, but she was very much like this is the, and I was like, okay, well, and I think I think pretty early on, I might have even said like, do you want to rethink this? You did. I, t- I said I was like, do you want to rethink this? Which End is totally July. understandable. Like we just got off a show. Like this is crazy. Do you want to rethink it? And I remember she was like, no. Like I'm confident in my oh, decision. I was like, yeah. and then I was like, all right. That, that we're going to be good regardless. So yeah. We'll figure it out. He like gave me the out of like, if this is going to really hurt your relationship with your family or this is just too much for you. Like Take I, the, the, I understand. And I was like, nah, like we're making this work. We're going to get through it. Every, I'm not sacrificing any of these relationships. Everyone's, we're all going to figure yeah. it out. Cause I never, I didn't want to like a big fear of mine. Cause I, I just, I never wanted to be the guy that like pulls someone away from their family or, or, yeah, like, like, because you're a family guy yourself. Yeah, because yeah. the family's important, and like, yeah, yeah. I, I just I didn't want to have to be that guy, and, and our situation kind of made me that guy. Um, yeah. So I just wanted to make sure, like, like she was good. Yeah, and um, I knew my family obviously was having a hard time with it, but we are super close. Like, we're a super close family, and we talk about everything. My parents are like very involved in our lives, and I was just very confident that. We were going to get they were going to accept it. Yeah. And they were going to come around. Um, And I was. Yeah. So I was just like, it's OK. Like, it's going to. What did the first parent meeting? How was that? <laughs> I want to know. I want to know. Oh, that was a... was so chill. Oh, my parents. Oh, okay. My parents were like. <laughs> that he picked me up from no, the airport. No, I mean you meeting her parents. <laughs> no, so, no, I guess I don't care about that. I know, oh. I know she did a great job. <laughs> yeah. My, my parents were like, I, I remember telling my parents, I'm like, yeah, I'm engaged. And my parents was like. So like, oh, nice. <laughs> you know? so like at this point, though, I'm in this world. Like yeah, I did yeah, yeah. dancing. Like I did all these, these crazy, all. this crazy shit. That they're like, whatever. Yeah. Um, I remember I, it was it was like 100 
five degrees in Toronto. It was so hot. And I like, I put on pants, oh even though God. we're like, we're going to be by the pool. I'm like, I can't meet your dad in shorts. Like, I got to wear pants. And I was like, you're going to die. Yeah. It is so hot. No, you have nothing pants. lighter than jeans. And he was like, no. And I remember, I remember totally my sinuses were extreme, like, were, were like 10 times worse than they are now. I remember being somewhat sick and then meeting her parents. And then it was just like, okay, like, I, I, you know, I'm just like, I'm going to, I'm going to be as, I'm just going to be honest. Cause I'm not going to lie about anything. Uh, mm-hmm. And that's kind of how, how it was. And it was, it was, it was, they had, listen, they're lovely people. So they were never rude. Like mm-hmm. they were, they were nice. Yeah. And they were like, you know, they, uh, I remember her mom made like a, an incredible dinner and like we sat there and like, they had a lot of questions and like, there were certain things where I just had to be like, yeah, like, you know, I don't, I don't really have an answer for that. Like, I'm also in this weird situation. We got engaged on a show. I love your daughter. Do it. You know, I don't know where it's a hundred percent going to go yet, but like I'm in it for the long haul. And that's like all, yeah, that's kind of like no, all you, I could give you. You were great. You, know? you did yeah. a great job. That's because, a great answer. I mean, yeah, he's right. Like my parents, they didn't attack him. Mm-hmm. Like there wasn't, it was not like yeah. a, you, he walked into a hostile environment, right, you know, right. like my dad was in the pool and we all had yeah. drinks yeah. and whatever. It was just kind of an underlying thing of like, we all know everyone's opinions here, but we're gonna <laughs> use this time to get Very to Very Canadian. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Like, I don't like you, but I'm gonna be really nice. <laughs> well, like, it was important, you know, um, my sister was amazing and a huge advocate with my parents and, you know, helpful with myself and supporting me of like, let's use this time to get to know each other. Yeah. And then at dinner, they obviously, as they should, take that opportunity to say, okay, you know, we've got some questions, you know, we want our answers too. And that was totally expected and fair of them to do. And Joe was great at just, you know, he's a very no bullshit person. Like if he has an answer, he'll tell you what the answer is. And if he doesn't have an answer, he'll be like, I don't have an answer for that. And I love it when people can, they really respected that. Like they definitely respected that. So, and I knew, like I knew and, and, and rightfully so, because I feel like I would have been the same way if I was, you know, I put my, I always try to put myself in the other person's, uh, position. And I would have, if that was my daughter, I would have been the same way. So I knew going in like, Hey, like, I know this is going to take time. Like, you're not just going to be like, Oh wow. He was great. Like, we love him. Our son. <laughs> like, I'm like, like rightfully so this should, this relationship, our relationship, my relationship with the parents should take some time. Yeah. And like, yes. I'm, like I get that. Absolutely. And that's fair. Like, and if it, if it didn't, then that would have been a red flag for me. I'd have been oh, like, I, I yeah. totally agree. I actually yeah. think families that are like, Oh, we've never met him, but like, we love him. engaged yeah. on TV. I find that a little off putting. Yeah. It's like, you're, yeah. if you're that happy about that and have no reservations, then you're in it for the wrong reasons. So I don't know. It just seems weird. Yeah, to you me. have to work for it too. Like yeah. I had to work a little bit. Oh, I actually think, for what it's worth, my family would be exactly like yours. Yeah. 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 I don't know if it's a Canadian thing or what. I don't know. Yeah. But my parents, like, I remember even on my season when we were, like, they needed to know in advance whether or not my family could be there for a hometown date. Right. Because it was in Canada. Right. Was your hometown in? No, we were a COVID season. So we did oh. it at oh. Nemecolin. They were the first COVID season. No, oh. we were the oh, second, second, second COVID season. Okay. <laughs> uh, but yeah, at that point they were like, oh, if we film in Canada, we're going to need special permits and things. Like, do you have family that would be there? Do you have ideas of what you would do? And I remember talking to my parents and they were like, they're like, oh, you're still doing that? Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I didn't talk to them directly. It was all through Alon, yeah. actually. But it was like, I was not met with enthusiasm. We'll put it that way. I mean, oh, the world God. still got robbed of the joint hometown. Oh, I do I mean, think it would have been, been a very amazing. funny hometown. Yeah. Yeah. And that robbed of, yeah. Well, my dad, and I mean, I, he was cautiously supportive of me going on The Bachelor. Like, it was definitely a shock when I told him. Yeah. Um, and he was kind of like, you know, you, I just finished a post-grad degree. I just got a good job. Like, kind of like, what are you doing? Like, what away. are you doing? And I was kind of like, I don't know if mm-hmm. I'm being honest, but we're in the middle of a pandemic and I can get time off work. So let's just see where this yeah. goes. And I wasn't sure if he would come to the hometown, not because he was like, not supportive, but be, he's a very private person. Yeah. Um, so when I saw him, I was like, oh, my God, my dad's here. And he yeah. was like, you seriously didn't think I'd come? And I was like, I don't know. I haven't talked to you in six weeks. Yeah. Like, I don't and know you start going. to lose. Yeah. yeah. You get a little confused when you're there for a while. Mm-hmm. <laughs> OK, so we're on to Andy's favorite question. He always asks this. I do always ask this. How do you guys fight? 
and resolve conflict and we want a play by play. And I also want to know who says sorry first more often. Yeah, a lot of questions. I mean, this is going to sound like a sick, twisted answer, <laughs> but we really don't fight. Oh. I know. And I, and I, and I, I, I'm a fighter. Like I'm, I'm, I'm somebody in my, you know, my parents growing up that they're very, you know, combative and they, and they will fight all the time. I just, yeah, we just don't really fight that often. I think we've had maybe in five arguments okay so this is good though. this is good now you've only had five you knew, you remember them so yeah. so so let's have a case i, I can tell you. I, I, I can give you a little bit of a break well we could both go okay you go before first. we get into a fight um, <laughs> we it's like i disagree you disagree and we leave we walk away i mean oh. uh, we walk away from each other very quickly yeah which is which actually i think is a good thing because i'm oh. glad that we're both like that you take a breath yeah and then you get yeah. over it no, then we talk after. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it doesn't get heated because you've taken that. No, moment. because I do believe, and we've never tested this theory, but him and I can both go to to high anger. You yeah. know, when you're okay. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I could, I Just could cry it. because yeah. I'm so angry right now, really quickly. So if that ever happens, which rarely it ever does, and usually it's about like it's probably about, it's never been about anything serious. No, if we do, it's been. always about something like random and stupid. It's, so it's like uh, get away from me, like get away from me right now, and we kind of go separate ways and then maybe like 20 30 minutes later someone will be like okay and then we'll just talk it out yeah. and then it's usually fine we hug and but i'm a baby it. like i'm a baby like if we get into a fight and like i walk away then like i'm not like i don't i'm not talking to you like, oh <laughs> like I'm, stubborn I'm, I'm, a little, I'm a brat like I'm. oh also, so she usually... i think i've come to you and been like are you are we are you gonna talk to me now yeah. Are we going to talk? Yeah. And you'll be like, I don't know. And I'll be like, <laughs> what do you mean you don't know? And I'll be like, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of the way I would, I would expect to see it. I, I also just think like, I don't, it's different for every relationship and every person individually, but I don't think we would be able to have, like, I think there's a time in a fight where you're like, either we're going to take the turn into a fight mm -hmm. or we're going to separate. Right. Yeah. And at least, and like, we've never been like, no, let's get into this. Like, let's. That's We're amazing. always just like, let's just separate and then talk about it. And then you talk, when you talk it out, it's not a, like a like raising your voices kind of talking. We've never, no. yelled, we've totally. never yelled at each no. other. No, you've never yelled at each no, other. No, we've never yelled. And I'm a yeller. Like I'm, 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 that's like, I am like, I, I growing up, like, yeah, like I'm a In yeller. your family. So and like my family and like, I was a, I was a trader at the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. And I remember always just like, like the way you did business was like you yelled. And I remember my brother worked for me and I, we used to yell and at each other and and that just made me an unhappy person mm. that's so, wild yeah. an italian grocer who doesn't yell yeah this doesn't make any sense yeah. i mean i could yell he yells just not at me yeah, yeah i don't yell at <laughs> like her. not when we're okay. fighting but if he's like mad about something he'll be like, like yelling I, in i'm the kitchen. sure i'm sure that's there'll be a, i'm sure eventually yeah. i'm sure eventually we'll yeah. get into a a fight where we're both yelling at each other mm -hmm. we just we just don't really operate that way with each other yeah oh i think that's beautiful that's amazing it's so funny i can't even imagine you angry yeah. I don't know, Serena. I've yeah, got I, her it takes a oh, lot. Yeah. It takes a lot to get me angry. Well, if she's angry, she says, "I'm so angry right now." <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, oh no! <laughs> it's, like, it's like this guy. Yeah, a little Hulk green Hulk. <laughs> I think you're kind of similar. Like you yell yeah. about random stuff. So so Andy maintains the the roses on the street. Like he like he okay. just loves greenery. He's got all these plants on the deck. You can Me see too. all the plants yes. in the apartment. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Oh, you do okay. love greenery. I yeah. love greenery. Yeah. yeah. Okay. He loves it. He loves He's watching it grow. Animal. Sorry? Joe is my spirit animal. Yeah, yeah, you guys have a lot in common. Yeah, yeah, the Italian version of you. But yeah, if someone like throws a, a can of soda or whatever, like in the rose, you know, this beautiful rose bush, he just, he'll come up and be like, what the fuck? Who does it? <laughs> <laughs> like the garbage is right in the corner. <laughs> For you, it's usually if like a sports team loses. Yeah, like, if, I, if, I'm, if I'm betting on sports or honestly, like I yell constantly about just like the stock market and, and, and just like my investments, huh. so I'm, kind of, I'm I'm yelling every day. Yeah, I'll just not at her. Right, just not at me. Yeah, right. It's at stuff. At yeah, life. yeah, yeah, life. yeah. That's yeah. fine. Absolutely, yeah. I yeah. yell all the time at life. Yeah, you don't yell at me. I think I'm more likely to yell at you. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Actually, I, re I rarely raise my voice to you. Yeah, it's I'm, extremely rare. Uh, yeah, and I'm chill. Like I don't get upset. But then if the timing is wrong, mm -hmm. like he he says something at a time when it's just like really should have thought twice. Like read the room. 
I'll just be like, like, yeah. be, yeah. like suddenly. My mistake is I always bring up things at the wrong time. Oh. Yeah. Like I just, I bring it up exactly the wrong time. <laughs> I can't help myself. Like my mouth does it and I don't think. Yeah. So okay. usually about stains. <laughs> Charlene has no respect for water, wood, um, colored items on counters and nothing. Yeah, no yeah. respect. The no respect for wood, huh? No respect for wood. I mean, that's a Curb Your Enthusiasm that's, episode. I, yeah, but, it is, but it's true. But it is true. Like that's yeah. Joe. Look at your coffee table and tell me you have respect for wood. It is the most stained <laughs> piece of wood I've ever seen. That is not my fault. Uh. <laughs> okay, so question: If it already is stained, are you less respecting of the wood? Yes, you are. You yes. over time, if it's pristine, you're gonna be careful. If it's if it's pristine, yes. But in my head, I already know that we need to get it refinished no, or, or finish it. What the issue with the coffee table is is we don't have a a dining room table so we eat at the coffee table a lot mm -hmm. especially okay. if yeah, we're eating we in front like we have a, a little island we, but i mean but it's, we're basically the same <laughs> yeah. people yeah, yeah. 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 we're so, living the same life so yeah. we have like coasters and we're pretty we're pretty good at drinks on it but then sometimes with food you just there's nothing you can do mm -hmm. speaking of new york because you're both family people you had to leave toronto you left chicago mm -hmm. what made you choose new york instead of going to one or the other uh i think we wanted just somewhere new and different and I had already lived in LA. She wanted to be on this side of the country just to be close to her family. Mm -hmm. And I, I love New York City. And we we're like, okay, because if I moved to Toronto, it would be me around all her friends and family, which is great. But then like I'm not around mine and then vice versa. Yeah. Yeah. So this is like just like equal. clean slate. Yeah, clean, clean slate. slate. And also like I did not have an established life. Well, that's not that's not true. I didn't have a non-established life, but he had a lot more roots in Chicago. Um, he had his own place and all this stuff. And the idea of me going there and just kind of like sliding into his current life, life. or yeah. vice versa, him coming to Toronto and just kind of like slipping into my routines. We liked the idea of coming somewhere new. It's very accessible to Toronto and Chicago. No. Like I probably won't ever live long term anywhere that's not the East Coast or like a quick flight home. Um and we, we both, yeah, answer. we both love New York. <laughs> yeah. So I do. Playing. I mean, but being on the West Coast, we were just on the West Coast. I don't know how you guys feel about this. But we don't I, like. You don't like it, huh? <laughs> I'm you don't not like, a West I, we, Coast it, it's, girl. It's, we want it, There's a caveat there. It's not really. It's the pace. It's the people. And I'm not besmirching every single person yeah. on the West Coast. We have a it's lot a of general friends. vibe yeah. that we just don't go for. It. The driving is a big issue. Do okay. not like being in a car all the time. Mm -hmm. And I also like seasons. We. I'm speaking for both of us. I'm saying I, but. Seasons I love seasons. Important, right? I love yeah. seasons. You I need do. cold. Yeah. You need snow. You need to appreciate the warmth. Every time it's I walk like outside in Christmas LA, it's like, oh, 72 day. and sunny. Great. Yeah. Like, yeah. Who cares? Yeah. <laughs> I get that. The only thing about LA I will say is like when I'm there, I could just stay. Like it is something, it is a place that I can no, just you like. You could live in LA. You do really like it. I do and like you it. You liked living there. And anytime we go there, you were like, you're always like googly eyed for LA. But I do you spent a lot of time there. Have the, what's the longest period you've spent in LA? You I lived, lived there. there for two years. Oh wow, I got really slammed on that <laughs> one. <laughs> I lived there for that question. I lived there for two years, but but just moving to Chicago and, and back to Chicago and then moving to New York, I'm like this. I just I feel like I'm in my world. Like yeah. this is where you're, I you're this is where coast. this is you're where I coast. should be. And like yes. I love this like we landed in, in Newark and I stepped outside and I was just like I love the smell of of, of He did say that yeah. last night. Yeah, yeah. I just love the smell of this of like, this city. Like, yeah. like basically city. gasoline. Yeah. 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 That's what I said. I was like, well, it just I said, like cars I said, ah, and pollution. Even yeah. though LA is not much better. But. Well I, I lived in San Francisco for a year actually back a long time ago. And the first thing that happened was I had never visited. I lived there for a year, never came back to the city once. So when I finally landed, I got off the plane. The first thing that hit me, I was like, holy shit, I was breathing this for like 25 years. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. unbelievable. It hits you so fast. Yeah, it's so smoky. But yeah. when you miss the city and you smell it, you're like. <sighs> yeah. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Give me that. Yeah. Back in it. Good mm -hmm. for the trees, too. A lot of CO2. <laughs> there you go. So, Charlene, I was thinking the other day, mm. we are living in an era of bad habits. Yeah. Everyone's got a lot of bad habits. Yeah. It's all these vices. Everything is more accessible than it ever has been. 
We're all on our phones all the time. Our phones are amazing what they can do. And terrible. It's all about what you choose to do with your time. Why not swap out one of those bad phone habits mm. for Babbel? Seriously, Babbel, the language learning app in 10 minutes a day. I love this. The lessons are 10 minutes a day, which I think is the most palatable language lesson time you can imagine. You can learn a language to the point where you're having a conversation in as little as three weeks. It's the fastest way I think you could improve yourself as a human. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's very humbling to learn a new language. Sitting down, spending 10 minutes learning a language, I feel it like refocus my brain. It almost feels meditative. Absolutely. And, and it gives you discipline. Yes. And it gives you a routine. Yes. And that routine makes you smarter. Also, unlike a lot of language learning apps, they don't use AI. Babbel uses 150 language experts to create theirs. So humans creating lessons and the lessons themselves are really realistic and usable scenarios, I find. And also, it's not just visual. You speak into it. Yeah. they have speech recognition technology. Which is incredible. It's like having a conversation with a person. It's, it's the cl closest thing I can imagine is sitting with someone of a native language who's teaching you how to speak their language. Mm -hmm. On your phone. On your phone. The source of so many vices, so many bad so habits. So many. Babel is a good habit. You should trademark that, Andy. <laughs> Sing a jingle. Make it. There are so many habits, but many are real bad. <laughs> but there is one that isn't bad, and its name is Babel. Okay. This is more of a full song. This than is a I song, say. yeah. Want to hear the second verse? <laughs> Also, if for whatever reason you are not satisfied with Babbel, you don't think it's a good enough habit, I suppose, there's a 20-day money-back guarantee and there's 14 languages to choose from. So right now, get up to 55% off your subscription when you go to Babbel, B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash Dear Shandy. That's Babbel dot com slash Dear Shandy for up to 55% off. Babbel language for life. So Andy, we did laundry last night. Yes, we did. Actually. And you know what we washed? was our cozy earth bed sheets, which at this point we have washed countless times. I have lost count, truly. And they look good as new because cozy earth bed sheets are made with viscose from bamboo, making them unbelievably soft, yet also cooling. And look, we're, it's officially summer. Can I oh, say yeah. it's summer? Oh, yeah, it's officially summer. It is, yes. Yeah. So we're at the point in the year where usually you're like, oh, I'm hot. No. But not so with cozy with sheets. I've had a lifetime of sweating in sheets. Mm -hmm. I know people are going to question me on this. It's fine. They question me. You know, people question me. And always in the comments, they're like, you were right. <laughs> it's I've, true. Nowhere have I gotten more I told you so than in cozy earth. Not that people were telling me I was wrong, but I always feel that <laughs> when I'm... You know, You'll take I told you so's where you can get them. Exactly. I don't sweat anymore in these sheets. Mm -hmm. I don't sweat. But also in the winter, they keep you warm. It's magic. I don't ask questions anymore. No. I just sleep in them and advertise for them. <laughs> and wear them on your body because you're also wearing your cozy earth lounge pants that you are never not wearing when we record this podcast, actually. And yeah. uh, not just the podcast for anyone thinking that you wear them for the podcast and not elsewhere. That's not true. Oh, you no. wear them around the house 24 seven. It's getting embarrassing. Yeah, maybe a little, but you know what? They look good as new. We've watched those probably hundreds of times at this point and they look brand new. Yeah, Seriously. This is an ain't broke, don't fix it situation. <laughs> yeah. And always worth mentioning, we can't let this skirt by, is the fact that Cozy Earth bed sheets have been on Oprah's favorite things list for five years in a row. Yeah, many bed sheets have come and many have gone. When Oprah loves a chocolate chip cookie, everyone rushes to get that chocolate chip cookie. And let me tell you, I have gotten that chocolate chip cookie <laughs> oh, and it was very good. <laughs> And the bed sheets are no different. So right now, our listeners, the Shandies, can save a whopping 35% on Cozy Earth. But hurry, this offer ends soon. Go to CozyEarth.com slash Shandy and enter promo code Shandy at checkout to save 35%. That's CozyEarth.com slash Shandy. Okay, so one final question about your relationship. Any beliefs about relationships that have changed now that you have this one? It is very important to find someone that you truly mesh with. Like we really go well together. Mm -hmm. Like we work well together. We like it's that we're is compatible. We're very compatible. It, it, that is so important. Yep. Yeah. So important. Once yeah. you have it, you don't go back. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of where I was going to go with it too. Like I feel like there's so many relationships out there where like you love each other and you love hanging out with each other. But like when it comes to actual the foundation of the relationship like the fundamental compatibility there it can often be like square peg round hole like yeah. you're really trying to make something work that doesn't necessarily work 
And for us, it's just like perfect fit and like you really feel the difference. Like when you have it of someone that really compliments you. (laughs) What? (laughs) He made it. That's what she said, Joe. When I said it was a perfect fit. (laughs) Oh, that was was pretty good. Yeah, it could have been better. It could have been better. You could have waited. I'm sure a better, that's what she said, will come along. I respect. I respect. He felt the the, the episode coming to an end and he was like, I need to get it. I got it there. I got it there. Yeah, yeah. When I do it, that's what she said. It's very good. Oh, okay, okay. okay. I, I okay. Just all time. This wasn't respect, your best one, respect, Joe. Respect, this yeah. was it. Uh, but yeah, I think like it's something that you can't fully know until you have it. And there's so many people I feel like that are in relationships where like now that I'm in one, not that I'm like judging other people's relationships, but it's like I now I'm just like I just know when it works. Yeah. And I know what it. it, it I know what it feels like when it fits properly. And oh, it's, it's not that it's not work, but like the work is so easy. Yes. Yeah. And and don't you find that you're not annoying each other hardly ever? Like that? Yes. No, we, 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 we spend like 24-7 together. Yeah, you don't annoy. It's, <laughs> no. if, you find, if you find someone in life that doesn't annoy you one time after you spend an entire week with them, marry them. Yes. That's my opinion. Okay, 100%. so for, for yeah. us, and I don't even know who, I think we've said this maybe on another podcast, but after we came off Paradise, I came to New York, I spent a few days with Abigail, and then I flew to Chicago, and I hid in his apartment for like, 10 days straight okay and i'm i remember being like this is my own personal quarantine we're out of the pandemic and i'm back in quarantine this sucks because i was just trapped in his apartment we couldn't d- go anywhere or do anything because we're in hiding yeah we'd go to like his friend's house for dinner or his parents house and i remember being so sad to leave like i was actually like on the verge of tears when i was leaving oh. because we'd spent all this time in paradise together and then three days apart and then like 10 days, two weeks together. And we were going to be apart then for like three weeks. Okay. And we'd never been apart for that long. But I remember saying it to someone and then being like, that's a great sign. Most people don't want to spend 10 days in an apartment with someone and like be crying that they're leaving yeah. them. And I was like, yeah, that's actually that's a very good point. That's, yep. that's how you know. That's a sweet one. Yeah. And I mean, obviously we concur. I think it's a little like, sometimes I feel like it's a little like we're all easier said than done. Oh, it's yeah. like, oh, just find someone with whom you're well, so it's, 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 not, it's not easy, though. And yeah. I think that's it's why not so easy. many I mean, people... That's, that's, that's what it why is. you got to try and try and try again. Yes. You got to keep trying until you find that. And, yeah. we're, and, we're, can't very, and we're, we're very lucky. Like, we, yeah. Yeah. There's, there's luck. Yeah. Absolutely. 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 That's there's important. Luck. I think a lot of people, like even on our podcast, it's basically a relationship podcast. Yeah. They're like, yeah, it's easy for you to say. Yeah. But they're in some ways right, sort of, because you need mm-hmm. to be lucky. You can't, even if you date 500 people, you may just eventually have to settle on someone who just Yeah, you're like, this perfect. might not be the yeah. perfect fit, but it's close enough, yeah. you know? Yeah. And I love this person. I'm, I'm just going to put in the extra 15% to make it work. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Which I get. I don't shame those people at all. I mean, that for all that could have been us if we didn't meet each other. And no. I think it's very common. And I think, yeah, we're very lucky. I really don't think we would have ever met if it weren't for the show. Oh, we have yeah. no I mean, mutual friends, no good. opportunity. That's oh, that's a given. Yeah, yeah. 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 I feel, so the whole, you know, the saying, you have to be good to be lucky. Yeah. I think you have to be good at identifying that yeah. Even if it doesn't come in the package you expect to mm, be lucky. Yeah. Like, yeah. I think a lot of people can be luckier with finding that compatibility than they are. Well, it's that the person doesn't look the way they expect or doesn't have the resume they expect or just, yeah. you know, yes. they're, they're, or they're paying attention you know, to the wrong a things. bigger age difference than you expect it. Yeah, yeah. Right. Oh, I mean, yeah. right there. If you had been in the same city swiping, would you have come up in each other's searches based right, on age right. alone? You Probably not. I would have had, right. like, the parameters yeah. set down to whatever, like, under 10 years yeah. and you would have just missed it. Yeah, just missed it. <laughs> okay, I think this is a perfect place to good. stop for the game. All right, it is now time for the Dear Shandy Newlyweds game. Yay! Yay. <laughs> you guys are very cute, very dedicated to the purity of the game. There yeah. was no cheating. Yep. yep. Yeah. There no. was a little cheating. <laughs> there was no cheating. Oh, well, we was almost some cheating. Some almost. Clarification. A lot of conversation. Yeah. 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 We flirted like, with the line. Yeah. Yeah. We flirted with it. Yeah. Yeah. But they were facing away from each other. Yeah, no. And there was even a question where Serena was sure she didn't know it, but she was like, I'm still, I'm not afraid to be wrong. Courage and valor. Yes. I'll take an educated guess. Yeah. It'll keep us on our toes. It's going to be good. All right. uh, 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 Oh, Andy. Okay. uh, uh, Andy likes uh, to predict. uh, what your oh, okay. score will be. Oh, that's exciting. Mm, this is a tough he one. actually does pretty well with this. Yeah. Okay. Pretty good. This is uh, a tough is one. A tough they're one. tough because they're really I'm gonna go, on the same page. Ooh. I'm going to go four to three, Serena. Okay. Interesting. 
Okay. Yeah. All right. So we're going to start with you, Joe, meaning Serena, this is your point to win or lose. Okay. Okay. So, Joe, question number one What is your least favorite food? Would you put goat cheese or lamb? Oh, no, my God. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, Andy would have wrote the exact same thing. Nice. What? Okay. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Okay. This uh, is not about you, Andy. It is, it's now about me. Okay. I can't believe you don't. You, you're not getting this. Um, well, okay. Let's, let's, you, we'll, we'll see what happens. Well, then we'll discuss the foods after. Okay. okay. First, we're, we want to know, Serena, did you get that? I half got it. I put mayo and goat cheese. Oh. Which is correct. Hey, yes. But just not what he wrote down. Yeah. So you know what? To be fair, I thought you were going to say lamb, so that's why I put it because there are certain lamb dishes I like that I lamb. could stomach. Uh-huh. Um, mayo is a good... You're not eating mayo and he's not eating goat cheese. Okay. Yeah. And he's even if it's an aioli, it's on the side. Yeah. Okay. So that he can control the amount. Okay, this is a point. This yeah. is a point. There's a, like a slight, it's like a light cheating here going on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. With the oh, oars? Really? Yeah, the oars are a slight yeah. problem. But, but gonna... you know, with food, there's multiple least favorites. You know foods. what it is? You guys know each other so well that you can't narrow it down to one. You yeah. Cannot. Yeah. Give it cannot. To yeah. Yeah. I, I actually think we would have a similar issue. Yeah. I would end up having I, like I totally point would four. Do I do a top 10 for everything. <laughs> okay, even though that's slight, you know, there's oars, <laughs> we're going to give you the point. But okay. if this becomes a trend, we're going to get tough. On Can we just talk for one second about <laughs> goat cheese? Yeah, yeah, I just is a, a okay, sidebar okay, here. Okay, yeah. How is. disgusting is goat cheese? I hate goat cheese. I like, hate goat cheese. Do you hate it? It's, like, it's almost like you're t- it's a, it's almost like somebody put cheese inside somebody's five day old dirty sock. And Thank you're you. Eating it out of it. It's I so love, gross. I love goat cheese. I, I actually it. tried to get him. I bought a hard cheddar that was made with goat's milk okay. to see if he could. Mm. And he still was like, yep. he, I didn't tell him, and oh. he was like. Is this goat cheese? I was like, it, kind it, of, it yeah. Literally, is, if a goat's walked through a room previously, I will not like the food in that room. Mm. Like nothing goat related. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. yeah. It tastes like poison. Soft or it? hard? Like hard Terrible. cheese or soft cheese? Anything goat, from a goat. Yeah, because like I've tried to see if you'll do hard goat cheese and you don't like that mm. either. Because you don't like creamy cheese, soft cheese. Not really. And Wait, I've been, no? and, and you. I like sharp. Cheese. I've also had surprises where like it'll be a sandwich that was supposed to have cream cheese or something or some other type of cheese and they. The goat cheese in there for some reason, and it, it's not like I'm full. Like, oh, this is good cream cheese. Like, no, it's just dis- like I, I can't eat it now. No, yeah. I have to like throw I, it away. Yeah. I literally mm-hmm. feel a gag reflex. Yep. Anyway, all right, good. Okay. Just want to get well, that we both out. like goat cheese. Whenever I go out with friends, I get the goat cheese and beet whatever salad. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Like, I'm getting my fix. Okay, so Serena, what yeah. is your least favorite food? Okay, so my least favorite food is mayo and bananas. Okay. Oh, no. Those are two foods. Oh, I feel like I know what you put not, I based on your reaction. I che- what do you think I put? I think you probably put nuts. Oh, shit. Nuts. But oh, I'm allergic. Oh, They're not no. my least favorite food. I'm, I'm deathly allergic. You know what? It was the first answer. I tried to take a quick lead. <laughs> <laughs> Question number two, Joe. If you could snap your fingers and become an expert at <sighs> any one skill. I feel like I got this wrong. I just thought of something else. I'm oh, sorry. no. Oh, I mean, we haven't. Do you want to? No, you can no. Change you it. can change no, it. No, yeah. no, I'm going with my you first totally answer. Are you no. sure? Because we haven't revealed anything. No. You, can no. you haven't no. seen his answers. No, no. I don't We're think she knows. I, I don't think she's going to guess this. Okay. Keep going. Okay. Huh. If you could snap your fingers and become an expert at any one skill or talent or whatever, what would it be? I did stock market wizard. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you thought? I, the minute I sat here, I said it's definitely related to either sports gambling or the stock market. <laughs> and I should have thought of that. But oh, it wait. doesn't count. I think I, I put, know what you put. I put anti-aging. Because, <laughs> but, <laughs> really? but, but in like a, you do like your cold plunges and your saunas and all of these things to help your body. Uh, like yeah, not I would love in, to be, no, that's fair. Not like a glamorous, like physical appearance way. Yeah. In a, like a overall holistic mm. wellness, wellness did you, yeah. way. Did you watch that Disney documentary? Uh, with, with Chris Hemsworth. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that he's, was kind of. He's very obsessed with all that, which I feel like is also something you would it's want not, to It's not, it, my best friend, Eddie, is also obsessed with it and whenever he gets on a new thing he calls me and then i panic i'm like oh, i should be doing more. like joe <laughs> goes outside to get sunlight in his eyes directly yeah. every morning because Wait, it's what? supposed to be really good yeah for you, you are it is supposed to be really well it's yes. supposed to just it's in supposed to like yeah it's like dopamine levels and it just makes you a happier really person is that similar to the butthole sunshine thing? i was that's, just about to ask do you do what? with your butthole no i've never heard of the you, butthole one yeah no. that's the thing it's an actual to thing. get bu- sunshine in your, yeah. butthole. Your butthole, yeah. Yeah. Mm. 
<laughs> no, can't I'm not on that road. I, I hope I don't look outside and see him getting sunshine <laughs> in his bubble. It's hard in New York City. I feel upset yeah. that they didn't know about that because without context, we sound really we sound crazy. crazy. We're not. Yeah. Yeah. Go Google it. We're we not. don't do it, but it's a thing. So, Serena, if you could snap your fingers and have and okay. be an expert in any one thing. I'm going to assume you got this wrong because I had no idea. Like, I just Uh-oh. made up an answer for myself. I didn't really have an answer. I put naturopathic medicine. Damn. Yeah. Because oh. I'm like, love, I'm... I don't know. I'm not like anti, like I have all my vaccinations yeah, and all yeah. that. Like I go to my doctor, but I love, You're like, interested in I'm it. interested in it. It's something I'm interested in. Yeah. If I could go back to school for something, yeah, I might do that. that. I think it's really interesting, actually. Yeah. Joe, what did, did you, you get that? Fashion icon. Whoa, oh. that's fun. I like that too. Yeah, well, you love fashion. So I do I like fashion. That's, that's a good one. Oh, you guys, this is oh, cute. It's cute, yeah. It's a cute, Even though we're scoring, we're, scoring. we're not doing very well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not we're doing terrible. You know, I mean, I, mean, I would say terrible. we're not bad because as much as we haven't well, gotten it right, all of the answers are like plausible answers. Yeah, so you I haven't said that. anything where I'm like, what? That's not me at all. Well, bananas, I knew. I knew bananas for her. And I just, I just instantly... Assumed I'd go for I nuts. did the cop out and just went like nuts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think when you know each other well enough to have multiple, yeah, I and I need more right. than two answers yeah. for everything, it gets I think really you're right. I thought about it, and I think you're right. I think we because would Because you struggle. Suck. Because you we struggle. There's so many game. things that yeah. you know, and you have to yeah. pick one, as opposed to I, where you're like, I know the one because I don't know anything yeah. else about I this I feel person. like you guys are easing the blow because we're doing a really bad job, but uh, thank you. I, <laughs> totally, totally right. We are easing the blow, but also a little truth in this. Okay, so question number three. Joe, what is your biggest peeve? And you agreed that this would be about each other. So your biggest yeah. peeve about Serena specifically. She leaves boxes everywhere. <laughs> or you leave. This one is my pet peeve. You leave your skillet dirty after she cooks. Oh. Do I? Yeah. Okay. Oh. So I put boxes in the apartment. Oh. Or, and I've only done this twice in our whole relationship, but turning off the oven and or appliances. Because there was- Well, that's just dangerous. Because I left the steamer <laughs> on one time all. and I left the oven on one time and yeah, I that's, thought that's, yeah, they that's really- the problem. The oven. problem. Yeah. That's not good. Okay, it was like twenty minutes before we realized. Yeah, but yeah. I feel like before a lot the of kitchen started problem. melting. <laughs> yeah, it's I a feel problem. like everyone does that at one point, and then that's I, how done. they learn. I got to be honest. I've yeah, done yeah, it. yeah, everyone's done it. You Once. just you never do it again. That's not really. You never do it again. Yeah, it's like losing your wallet in a cab. You never. You lose it once. You never lose it again. I feel like we got that because the boxes oh, was both I'm, of our first one. Serena, we're giving you that point. When you but say the, boxes, you mean like like, like boxes PR packages. Of, PR packages. Oh, yeah. Nice. Un, unopened or open. Both usually unopened or it's open, but it's product for a partnership. And right. we just I don't have anywhere to put yeah. this stuff. Yep. Or it's stuff that it's like, I need to get rid of this or sort through it if I want to keep it, if I haven't. And that's what the issue is right now. Or like her suitcase. Like I we get home, I and take uh, out, empty my suitcase, like really put it away. Yeah. And Serena will leave it there for a few days and then do it. This is getting a little weird. Yeah. Well, usually it's like this if you like do it first, then you have all the laundry machine. No, no, so- no. Listen, I, I, mean, I get it. I'm not like, you know. <laughs> It happens, but it's it's a big process. You guys don't have as much. I mean, to, to be about. fair, my suitcase is basically a bunch of white Hanes v- yeah, V-necks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. socks and underwear. That's yeah. a joke. Okay, okay. So, Serena, what is your biggest peeve about Joe? Okay, Joe, we are privileged enough to have a dishwasher, and Joe leaves all of his dishes in the sink. Oh. All of them constantly. That's what you put. And if the dishwasher is <laughs> dirty for the whole day, you'll just put the dishes in the sink. You will unload it. That's absolutely my pet peeve. Oh, and the fact that you don't peeve. know that is shocking because I'm always on your ass with dishes in the sink, I feel like. Okay. Serena leaves her lemon water, the lemons everywhere. You, it. you do that? Oh, I leave oh, glasses. Squeeze lemons? I leave glasses. But this isn't about me anymore. Yeah, that's, a, that's right. <laughs> what did you put? He put... Putting things in the sink. Oh, you got Whoa. it. Yeah, I got it. Oh, <laughs> no, I got that. There you go. Does Yay. that make him worse because he knows it's a problem? <laughs> <laughs> kind of, Probably, yeah. yeah. That was a good, yeah, like, I thought you didn't get that. Yeah. I know, you yeah. really messed yeah, up with it. Really? That's Very really nice. Good. Yeah. You had me. Okay. Playing games with you guys. Okay. You, know? you guys this You is... guys are playing a game. I'm playing a different wow. game. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Question number Matrix. four, Joe. What TV show do you watch because of Serena? Meaning if she did not watch the show, you would not bother. Okay. So this one I went. So I did Current and then I did one show that I'm just like, I can't watch this show. Um, <laughs> so Current is Daisy Jones and the Six. Okay. 
And then the other one would be Gilmore Girls. Gilmore Girls. <laughs> oh, Serena, oh, wow. Serena. <laughs> good husband. <laughs> Serena loves Gilmore. I won't even good. watch. Like, I'll watch like. He I'll, won't watch it with I you. I won't though. watch Gilmore that's Girls. A, that's uh, a lie. This I've never made you watch Gilmore Girls. No, but sometimes like, but sometimes you have it on and like it, like you want to be watch like, it you know, we're going bed. to bed soon, yeah, yeah. and I'm going to throw it on for 20 minutes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah um, right. And he'll like he'll like like be on his phone while it's on. Yeah. Yeah. And then he'll be like. I hate this can you please turn it off <laughs> I want to see if you got I that. put Daisy Jones in the six yeah oh okay. very nice we'll give her yeah. a point the, the, the oars it. are kind of a yeah, problem yeah. Yeah. I gotta stop with the oars I like yeah. the oars a Jones lot of first. people it's a trend but a lot of yeah. people have been cheating a little bit in these love fests <laughs> so we've just gotten a little loose <laughs> okay so Serena what TV show do you watch because of Joe okay I actually I do like this show but I I've never seen it before I met him and I don't know if I would turn it on if he wasn't around Curb your enthusiasm. Curb. Oh, yeah. very nice. Very yes. nice. Very, very nice. nice. It's his favorite show. And that's. I mean, you got to get on board. If you're going to be in board. New York, it's. A, it's. I it, know you're from Canada, but that doesn't count. It's just not a show that I would watch without him around. You know what okay. I mean? You like, seek it out. I wouldn't seek it out. I wouldn't like sit at home and turn it on. But if he is like, like, it'll always be his proposal. It'll be like, oh, you want to watch a couple episodes? You're, of Curb? you're, you're doing like, the yeah. right thing. You got to yeah. watch. Yeah. Curb. I'm into it. I'm into yeah. it. Yeah. I've watched a lot time. of episodes. Yeah, I mean, I've I've seen it multiple times. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, good. Okay, so you guys, by the way, are three two for Serena right now. Mm -hmm. Meaning, Andy, you're getting very close to your prediction. If we both get this right, then you are yeah. correct, right? Yeah. We're not going to get this one right. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it right. She's going to get it wrong. Yeah. Okay. So then we'll go to overtime and in overtime. Yeah. So could win. That's if, true. If they, oh, yeah. if they want to go into overtime, not everyone they wants will go to. Oh, no, we're overtime. going into overtime. Yes, oh, thank really? you. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Guy bets on sports. He's <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Joe, question number five. What was your first ever job, meaning the first thing you got paid to do? Bus boy. Bussing tables at my uncle's deli. Oh. That's beautiful. That's nice. Did you get really? that? I got it. Yes. I, put, I put working at a family restaurant. Is that uh, count? That's, 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 it's I your, think that counts. Because I knew it was a yeah, family member. Uh, yeah, I, I think that counts. I, I knew you did some sort of like you were Wait, working a at host. his family restaurant or a family no, restaurant? No, uh, like he was working at a restaurant owned by a family, a family. member. No, I thought it was, it was like a cousin or an uncle. Yeah, it was my uncle. That's good enough. Okay, yeah. she gets it. I think she gets and it. And I knew it. you weren't a server and I knew you weren't a hostess that's and I knew enough. you weren't cooking, but I didn't know what... I you didn't got, know what no, it was going to be. You yourself. You got, okay. you got the answer. You, you, you wow. Got I can't I was like, he was either like packaging that. things or like stocking I was, things. I was do, yeah, I was, a, I was a bus boy. I was cleaning. I was filling salad wow. dressings. I'm so proud of myself. Oh, nice oh, job. Huge. I mean, not yeah. to detract from your answer, but if I had never met you in my life, I would have guessed <laughs> the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> so. That's fair. It's true. That's fair. Okay. Well, Joe, you you cannot win at this point, but let's still find out what happened here. Serena, what was your first? First ever job. I was a dance instructor. I taught wow. like oh, wow. You were uh, a dance instructor. Wow. Is your first, first job? job? Yeah, I was. Um, I was seventeen, and I was teaching like baby ballet. I was teaching ballet to four or five year olds, and then I taught uh, seven to nine year olds. So you were a ballerina. I did she dance. Looks, yes, she looks like a dancer. You do, but I didn't know that. I did. Yes. That was never taught. I just know you like chicken. That's it. <laughs> I actually don't like chicken that much. Okay, we got, I, we, now we know that. Too, now you know so that. So I, so I was an instructor, you. and I'm not a chicken fan. Yeah, I would oh. have put yeah. money on her. She just walks like a dancer, moves yeah, yeah. like a dancer. She wears her hair back like a former dancer. Uh, I don't know if you still a, dance, <laughs> but I, I've noticed that ballerinas yes are okay with buns for life. Yes, I'm buns comfortable for life? with it. Yeah. Is that, isn't there a song about that? <laughs> Joe, did you get we it? Want to know? Did you? You get didn't it? get it. Oh, no. you put swim instructor. Yes. Yeah. Swim instructor. Oh. Oh. Which I feel like is still the right answer. Oh, no. That wasn't my first job. I mean, I was making $15 an hour, so I was making 30 bucks a week teaching dance, but I did it for eight months. But you did you did dance after you did swim? No, I started swim. I taught swim lessons. I started teaching swim lessons two years later. So there was a job in between there that you actually missed. Oh, so you but I taught you know. dance for one year and then I taught swim lessons for like two years. People are watching this and they are seeing how good you are. <laughs> you did a good job. It's so honestly, I never talk about teaching dance. I talk about teaching you... swimming a lot. So it's okay. Serena, you won 4-2. You are the winner of the Dear Shandy Yay! Newlyweds game. Wow. Very good. And Andy, you were you get yeah, a, a mini applause thank for your you. very yeah, close prediction. Good job, Andy. You're, you're one off. You guys, thank you so much for joining yeah, us today. Great. This was just so much fun. And of this course. is always a little stressful to have people over because I'm doing it all myself. And you guys just made it a dream. Yeah. Oh, so and you know what? I'd I like to say something a little mushy. Both of you guys 
are the kind of couple that make each other better. And I can oh, see it. It's very palpable. Nice. Yeah. yeah. It's very We're easy chilling. to hang out with you guys. So thank that's you great. so much for sharing your relationship. Of course. Of course. Thanks this for a lot having of fun. us. We love, we love recording in person. So this is super yeah. Yeah. This yeah. Is rare. Yes. This is a rare treat. Yeah. It's worth fighting for, for sure. Yeah, usually, like, right about now, we just cut off the Zoom and, like, you were in the you're middle like, of saying bye. something. You're like, oh, by the way. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's not the same. Okay. And so we'll wrap here. Okay. They just left. They just walked out the door. They did. They after walked we showed right them out the door. The deck. That was delightful. You know, they are so lovely. You know, they just have really good manners, too. Yeah. They're like, wow, we love your place. I'm they like, are Thanks. well mannered. <laughs> they say well, the right things. They do. They were so sweet. Okay. Can I talk about how easy it is between them? Easy, easy like Sunday morning. And it actually, it literally was Sunday morning. Yeah. And I really think the age difference works because he's kind of like boyish. He's got a strong inner child. Yeah. <laughs> and she's very mature for her age. Yeah, and yeah. I think she also has like really appreciates that boyishness. Totally. I love how, okay, first of all, their answers were so specific. I loved her answer to how they complement each other. Like he is very, he has these emotions. He has highs and lows and she's more even, what's the word? Even. Even killed? Yes. Thank you. I don't know why. I don't know why mm -hmm. I couldn't think of that. It's just been a now. long day. Yes. But there's just like this balancing act that's always happening. And it's just like, it's, ping it's pong. ebbing and it's flowing. A, it's a ping pong. Mm -hmm. It's catching and serving. Yeah. And I think obviously we kind of see it because we, I think, have that as well. Mm -hmm. Like there's a lot of taking the baton from each other yeah i felt a lot of similarities yeah <laughs> felt a little like eh, that's I think, enough that's i think enough. i watched you fall in love with him a bit when he said he hated goat cheese I, that was it it was like i was close and then i just dropped <laughs> there Kunk. was another answer too oh also lamb you you really yeah, i well, think you're I have an issue with, yeah i have more of a more of a uh, morality, morality yeah. yeah 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 but nonetheless yeah. you also don't eat lamb yeah i gotta tell you they are one of my favorite most down-to-earth bachelor couples we've met yeah and i bet a lot of people are like oh that's not gonna last oh you think so I, it's funny, I guess. I feel like maybe right after the like on-screen engagement, because you know a lot of these couples don't end up lasting. Yeah. If anyone doesn't believe in them, I feel like they've never watched them interact mm. beyond the show. And I will. I, I'm going to take some credit for this. Why? I don't I have no idea why. <laughs> <laughs> no clue. I look forward to this. Yeah, this is going to be very circuitous. But you, I, I don't know why you took that away from me. I had a very big reaction to Joe on night one. I was watching the show with you, but you were recapping for Flair. Oh, no. And I also for my blog. Yeah. And your blog. And I remember being like how I've watched, I've watched periodically a bunch of episodes of the show. And this guy is obviously not a night one guy. Mm hmm. Yeah. So I, I found Joe. I discovered yeah, okay. him. <laughs> He's the only one, the only one. And then I went for Serena on Bachelor of Paradise. It was funny having them on like, because I remember reca we recapped in depth their yeah. relationship oh, yeah. on Paradise. Yeah. And it's just sort of funny. Like when you meet these people, you're like, did I say anything? Did critical? I say something wrong? But I remember really liking them together. I even feel then. like we were only nice. And if we weren't <laughs> nice, I'm always, I always feel like I'm always nice. But if we weren't nice, we were we were ribbing with very with good affection. nature. I yeah. think we, when talking about their kiss, we might have said that Joe was just sitting on the Receiving. beach. He was, he was just <laughs> he was just waiting. Yeah, that someone was going to come and pollinate that flower. <laughs> <laughs> but of course, it was interesting to hear. And I, maybe this, you know, is something he also valued. She did not see him as George Clooney. No. At all. No. We were wrong. Didn't have stars in her eyes. No. Just was like, oh, this guy is actually a really nice guy. Yeah. I like him. And she, she, it says something about both of them. She liked that he was like, I'm not having a good time and I'm not afraid to talk about how I'm not having a good time. And I just think that's so refreshing on both of their parts because you just don't really, she's right. Most people are like, you know, best foot forward. Like, this is great. Like, let's be grateful. I don't know. All the things, all the tropes. Uh, you know what this, the, the moral of the story is find a Canadian. That's it. <laughs> find a Canadian and you're good. Yeah. You know, we joke. But I, there are some single friends where I'm like, if you dated a Canadian, a lot of your problems would go away. It's, it's not funny. It's true. I'm allowed to say that. I'm allowed to be biased. And I look way. at a guy like Joe. I'm like, Joe could have found a lot of American women who he would have had a very difficult time with. <laughs> 
I have a feeling people are going to be offended by this somehow. Yeah, I'm just like, it's always great it's when I diss an entire country it, that's happened to be <laughs> the main audience. Overall, fantastic love fest. Mm -hmm. In person, we really should do this more often. We it's, should. It's, it's a lot of work. It is a lot of work for me, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. it's good. I think it is worth it. Yeah. I think it's worth fighting for to record in person. The vibe, it's different. It's totally different. Yeah. A screen is a screen. A person is a person. <laughs> Wise words spoken by an idiot. <laughs> okay. If you enjoyed what you heard today, you know what we will ask of you. And that is to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow us on Instagram and TikTok. Leave us Apple and Spotify. Podcast ratings and reviews. Tell your friends and generally do all the things you would do to support a podcast you enjoy. Thank you so much for tuning in and we'll see you next time on Dear Shandy. Bye-bye.